Yeah, I can give you some relationship advice. I'm no expert, though. I've written a book of relationship advice. I am an expert, though I've never actually been in a relationship. I was too busy writing this book. Sorry I'm late. I was at the park, and this stranger sat next to me on the bench and told me his whole life story. Sorry, a guy sat next to me on a park bench and said hi to me. Then I spent the next three hours having a conversation with him <sighs> like, in my head. I often feel misunderstood, like I don't fit in anywhere, like no one gets me. The other day, someone actually got me. For the first time ever, I felt like I fit in somewhere. So I immediately pushed them away so I could go back to feeling too unique to be understood. I can't help it, I just feel other people's emotions. It can be pretty painful sometimes. I feel the emotions of other people, animals, inanimate objects, colors, numbers. Three, usually very sad. Five, always annoyed. Nine, erratic. I keep my distance. I wish I could stop overthinking things. If I did not overthink everything, it would feel irresponsible and frankly, reckless. Mm, have you tried meditating? Keeping a gratitude journal? Talking to a therapist? Have you tried going into the wilderness by yourself for a month cut off from the outside world, eating nothing but wild berries and practicing primal screaming? I try to prioritize self-care, even if it's just going for a walk or buying myself a little treat every once in a while. Instead of self-care, I prefer to neglect myself until I'm so burned out that everyone else has to take care of me. Turns out I'm the rarest personality type. That explains a lot. When you take a personality test, your conscious mind is answering the questions, but it is your unconscious mind which you are unable to observe which is really calling most of the shots in your day-to-day -day life so personality tests are meaningless anyway I'm the rarest type A stranger's coming.